Bernd Dürrendahl is an independent taxi driver who covers 40,000 kilometers a year in Berlin. Trips to the gas station are starting to really hurt. Diesel prices are now rising dramatically, but Dürrendahl can't simply raise his own prices. He's not allowed to. These diesel prices make your blood boil. We in the taxi business are hit especially hard, as are all self-employed people who use their car a lot. Diesel prices are rising and the state's not doing anything. Three months ago, the price for a liter of diesel was 30 cents less than gasoline. They're now the same. People only fill up their tanks if they absolutely have to, like this truck driver. Private car drivers tend to be more careful. Car dealers are likewise seeing their customers getting worried. They reckon the number of diesel-powered vehicles will fall. Some frequent drivers are traveling thousands of kilometers further to make the pricey diesel engine worth their while. Some customers are considering driving a vehicle with a gasoline engine because A, it's cheaper to buy, and B, the fuel's sometimes cheaper. Meanwhile, alternative biofuels are becoming increasingly popular. A liter costs 95 cents. The price for diesel is almost higher than gas. It'll take some time, but gradually we'll all switch. But car makers appear hesitant. They spent years working on high-tech diesel engines before only much later investing in the development of hybrid engines. Just a few months ago, Germany's Car Makers Association was praising diesel's efficient and green attributes. Clean diesel sometimes boasts better environmental figures than the hybrid. I have nothing against hybrid. The hybrid often makes sense in city traffic. But over longer distances, the full hybrid also has its problems, because its substantial weight means a higher fuel consumption and higher CO2 emissions. But experts say car makers will have to revise their ideas. More electric cars and smaller engines that run on gasoline and not diesel. Diesel won't go away. The advantage of diesel applies more to bigger and heavier vehicles. That's true for trucks and also for larger passenger vehicles. But for normal cars, diesel will be losing ground over the next few years. The price of diesel is set to rise further and, in the long term, exceed that of gasoline, which is not a great prospect for Bernd Dörendahl and his colleagues.